funny of Miriam Early. I had a stroke back in 2017 in October. Right, I've been a member to Vine since either 2018 or 2019. In the first book, you will read my story. And the reason I put my story in to begin with, because everyone who goes through this is going to be different. So with my story, it could be you could relate or you could not. And then in the second book, because we couldn't really put in another story, I put in artwork. And my artwork in this new book kind of gives you a perspective on how I view life, which is kind of like a stained glass window. Some days are huge, some days are small, some days are depressing, other days are happy. And I'm not going to say anything else about that because that's going to give you too much <laughs> about what I already have in there. Well, the, that's a question for both of them. They both tell you that, well, the story tells you what, I'm, what I went through and how crazy it was and how stupid I was. <laughs> I heard it myself and I was like, wow, I was kind of stupid. But um, in the artwork, it kind of just, well, both of them kind of tell you that I stuck through it. I kept going. And I'm still able to thrive. When you read the story, <laughs> I just kind of got that impression on myself. Like, why did I not go to the doctor sooner? I was going through the stroke. I didn't really know what was going on. They don't teach it in school. No, not really. I wrote this story according to memory which was pretty good for that. And then the art that I included in the second book is how I actively view life, or it's at least an abstract way of how I think. The mean change in the power to get our stories out there and like Curie said, you know, tell tell other folks that they're not alone if they have a brain injury. Because you never know one of our books could land in the hands of somebody who had a brain injury and they don't know about Vine. Or they don't know that there's other, like a multitude of a different group of people that went through what they're going through. So it's like the power to inspire and the power to inform. Well, I would like to add yes. that if anybody watching this does not have the first book, get it and read it first and then get the second. Because our second's kind of like an epilogue. And then oh. mind is supported when you get these books. And that place is an important place for us stroke survivors.